What's happening, y'all? So, it's dark as hell in here. Hold up. Let me uh, try to cut some light. Oh, yeah, that's right. The light don't work up there. <laughs> well, damn. Okay. Well, let me try to fix the light right quick so we can have some light. So, basically, I jumped on here to uh, answer questions, I guess. Um, well, so what happened was I've been getting the same three or four questions and I'm going to just try to address them. So Christmas, let's start there. Oh shit. God damn. Oh, sorry about that. Y'all hold on. Oh yeah. Okay. Let there be light. Okay, let the light go out. Let's try cutting the light off and putting it in. <laughs> Let's try that. Yeah, brother Tom's about to burn his fingers off. Fucking around trying to get some light circulating. All right. There we go. So, yeah, I was going to answer a few. Why is there a shadow? Okay, so that's a little better, right? All right, so I was going to answer a few questions that people have been asking me, and uh, yeah, so to start with, um, actually, yeah, we can, we're going to go there. So, uh, yeah, Christmas, what am I getting my son for Christmas? Well, I can't exactly say what I'm getting my son for Christmas because despite all of my awful mouth and my terrible sayings and some of the things that I do on this channel, he watches my channel. He watches it. Yeah. But my son knows his dad. My son knows me. He knows that I've always been like that. He knows not to be like me. <laughs> Well, in so many ways. My son doesn't have an awful mouth like, well, yeah, he does. But it's not, his mouth isn't, he doesn't cuss. He doesn't, some of the things that I say, he's modified them to his, his own, his own way of saying them, which, which is pretty amusing, but he doesn't mean nothing by it like I do. And so with that being said, I don't mind him watching my channel because he's he's hip to what's going on around him. And there's nothing wrong with being hip to what's going on around you. With that being said, what I am getting him is not in one piece. Why is it not in one piece? Because in life, some of the best things that you ever have comes in pieces not only does it come in pieces but you got to figure out how to put it together and I say this because a lot of time I'll get something that's broken on purpose because I might get it for half the price because I know how to fix it I might get it for less than that because I know how to fix it so I figure why not teach him how to fix something well, I don't have to teach him, really. He grew up with me working on stuff, so if I let him loose with a wrench, he'd go out and take a car apart. So I got to be careful with that, too, because the boy is good. <laughs> the boy, yeah, he's he was doing breaks at the age of four. Might have been three. I have a video. I don't know if I ever posted that video of him doing the breaks on my Grand Prix. He was, like, three years old. So... I can't just let them loose with my tools because things will just get taken apart. He was taking apart remotes and stuff, his mama's stuff. <laughs> well, we just knew not to leave tools around him <laughs> because he knows how to use them. But there's no other way to learn. And the thing is, there's so many people that don't know how fix nothing and I mean like the last car so all it needed was a starter 
I saw I was selling it cheap. You would think somebody would have known how to put a starter on the car. So, oh, okay. And I guess that's another reason why I make some of the videos I make. So I can show y'all how to do the things that I do. Even though you might not figure it out. But you have a general idea of what's going on. And as long as you got a general idea of what's going on. You can go a long way with that. Because, see, you don't have to take that information and go out there and pull your own stuff apart. But you might be able to go to the junkyard and experiment on some junk cars first. And then once you get it down on the junk cars, you'll be able to go home and fix yours. So that's my general thought behind getting him what I'm going to get him and it not being in one piece. But also, with it not being in one piece, the great thing about that, he gets to build it the way he wants to build it. That should be interesting. Now, I know that I'm going to probably end up spending some money on it because I know I know how he is, and he's just like me. <laughs> Fat man likes to go fast. So, yeah, I don't mind, though. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind because when I was his age, nobody believed in me enough to get me the stuff that I needed to make the things that I wanted to make. And the end result was I had to make it on my own. So a lot of times there would be a lot of junk in my grandparents' backyard because I had to make this stuff that didn't exist at least not exist for me and my price range. <laughs> I don't want him to have to go through that. So, I'd rather him help me work on whatever I got to fix, learn something, and then go back and work on his own. That way he's earning his money to fix whatever he wants and however he wants to make it the way that he wants to make it. So, I'm going to do a video on it if I can manage to put it in this car somehow or maybe I'll go out in the van and pick it up at any rate I'm going to make a video on it after Christmas uh, yeah after Christmas I'll make a video on it after he knows what the deal is and yeah should be interesting that's the first thing Second thing is, uh, like I was saying before, a lot of people don't know how to fix their own stuff. So I try to teach y'all something, <laughs> anything, because eventually you might be able to use it. It might come in good sooner or later. And, uh, yeah, that's my train of thinking on that. So let's see, that answers two questions. The other question is, what am I doing for Christmas? What am I doing for Christmas? Well, I'm not doing much. Uh, let's see. My son's mother's acting funny because of the whole COVID-19 thing, which is understandable. And then, yeah, I don't know. I ain't doing much. <laughs> it's just, it ain't looking too good, so... I don't know. I was thinking about going to Florida, spending time on the beach. But that ain't even looking that great right now because I ain't got a lot of gas to burn. So I don't know. I really don't know. I don't. I ain't got no plans. Uh, I don't normally celebrate Christmas. It's not one of my favorite holidays. It's been a long time since I had a good Christmas. It's been a long time. A really long time. But, yeah, so... Uh, what else was there? There was one more thing I'm forgetting. But, yeah, so... Christmas, I don't know what I'm doing. Normally, I'm in the desert or somewhere way down south or... Somewhere far away. Um, sometimes... Sometimes I'm with my son. 
on Christmas. But normally I celebrate Christmas with him before Christmas. Or sometime I celebrate with him after Christmas. Because like I said, I'm not really big on Christmas. I know he is. And I do it for him. But as far as me, man, yeah, man. I don't I don't indulge anymore I used to I used to get excited about Christmas I remember them days but I really got much reason to get excited about Christmas or Thanksgiving or any of them holidays it's mostly commercial now I remember when it meant so anyway uh I'm trying to think there was one more thing that I was going to touch on I forgot completely what it was. Now, you know, y'all, my mind just doesn't want to work right most of the time, so I have to, you have to bear with me because I have my moments of stupidity. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, if it comes back to me, then I'll make another video. And yeah. But that's what I'm doing for Christmas. That's what me and Fat Man, that's what I got planned anyway. That's what's going on with me and Fat Man for Christmas. And, um, yeah. If you haven't told somebody you love them today, you know what time it is. Um, very important thing. So many people are going to make it through Christmas this year. And then not be here for New Year's. Some people won't even make it for Christmas. Very important to tell somebody you love them today. Very, very important. There's a lot of people that I wish I would have told that I loved them, but I <laughs> screwed up and didn't. But anyway, that about sums it up. Blue cars running great. I think I'm going to have to put a thermostat in it at some point. It's got a whole bunch of gunk in the radiator. I think it's gummed up or something. It's not running hot. Not running that hot. But it's getting a little warm here and there every once in a while. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Currently in uh, the old Kmart parking lot. And that's where I'm spending the night tonight. So yeah. And tomorrow... is tomorrow. I guess by the time y'all see this, tomorrow will probably be Christmas. Let me think about that. Now, if I post that tonight, not yet. Well, no, it won't. It'll be the day before the day before Christmas. Well, I don't know. Y'all might see it tonight. Anyway, it's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so you might see it Wednesday. You might see it whenever. I don't know. Depends on what my phone wants to do. And you, you never know what my phone wants to do. So. But I guess that's about it. Uh, yeah, that's about it for now anyway. So stay tuned. Things should get interesting. Christmas is coming. I'm not expecting much to happen in between now and then. But maybe after Christmas. Maybe New Year's. But y'all are here from me way before New Year's. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Getting ready to go to this ice cream place. And maybe if I'm lucky, I have $3 and change that I can go get me some ice cream. And yeah, and try to make it to dialysis tomorrow. Even though I'm not supposed to have ice cream, I want ice cream. I think I deserve it. I haven't had ice cream in a long time. I, another thing. Since I know y'all can't indulge, y'all can't share in the glory of my ice cream, I'm going to buy some ice cream just for y'all, and I'm going to eat it for you. See, Merry Christmas. Because, see, I'm watching out for you. See, because I, I care. See, I wouldn't allow y'all to have to digest all of that wonderful taste in ice cream by yourselves. In fact, I wouldn't want y'all to have to go through the problem, the process of digging the spoon into the cream of the ice and sticking it in your mouth and, and then possibly even getting an ice cream headache. You know, those things hurt. 
you know, when I can do that for you, you know, I would rather take the pressure away from you getting ice cream, honey, because I am your friend, and I am going to tell you just how much you enjoyed it in the next video. No worry, if you feel a little full right now, that's because it's coming. Or well, I've already eaten it by the time y'all are seeing this video, and that's why y'all are feeling a little full. Y'all, some of y'all are diabetic. Y'all sugar done spiked a little bit. Well, that's what the deal is. Is because I ate ice cream for you. So just know that you enjoyed it thoroughly. More than likely, more than likely, you enjoyed it thoroughly. And if you didn't enjoy it thoroughly, you know, well, don't worry, I did for you. And with that being said. I run out of stuff to talk about. I'll talk to y'all later.